Welcome to the brand new devotional series called Daily Bread or Day and Night. I haven't even decided on the title, but I'm excited to share this Devo with you because it's just something that was kind of burning in me and then I started it and I unpacked it. I talked to people about it. Um, it's just grown as I've done it. So I've done a lot of the Devos and I'm just now recording them and I'm just excited to bring you along this journey. So what started me thinking about this devotional is I'm the very worst at living in the moment, asking for daily bread and then savoring each bite. I'd rather have daily bread, think about how much bread I'll have tomorrow, complain about the lack of bread that I didn't have yesterday. Are you like that sometimes? So much is said in the Word about daily bread, and I figured if I struggled with it, maybe others do as well. And it's one of the lines in the Lord's Prayer asking for Him to give us this day our daily bread. So we're going to unpack that request, look at this business of day and night that's mentioned in the Bible over and over and over again, and I hope you can start to smell the aroma of each day's bread as we unpack it together. So the first mention of a day is in the story of creation, which we've looked at many times, where God created the day and distinguished it from the night, and in Genesis 1-5, it says the evening and the morning were the first day. And then God went about creating for the next several days. And I'm thinking he could have spoken all creation in the, a few minutes time, but he spread it out over a week of days. And at the end of the day, the word says God said what he had done was good. And it's interesting to note that after each day, he repeated this phrase. And there was evening and morning, and it was the next day. And there was evening and it was morning, and it was the third day. And it was evening and it, and it was morning, and it was the fourth day. It was like he wanted to make sure that we heard that there was a rising of the sun and a setting of the sun every 24 hours and it was repeated and to sit and consider what was good in the day and that it was going to happen all over again. It was a routine that he made sure that we noted when he was creating. He looked into the deep dark vastness and noted what we needed and he created. He then observed everything he had done and called it good, and finally he noted the sunrise and the sunset and the rhythm of the daily schedule that he set forth. So let's unpack that further, practically speaking. We wake up every day and we have this unknown 24 hours before us, and we have plans and purposes, but we really don't know how the day is going to turn out, except that the sun will set. That scenario never fails. And if we follow God's pattern, we can face the darkness by speaking in in the darkness what we believe and setting the tone for creating good. And when night falls, either our plans have gone great or they failed, or maybe a mix of both. But again, following God's directive, we can look back over the day at what was created or set before us and find the good. And it's important that we daily find the good before we rest our heads at night. Giving thanks, like thanks, as we've talked about before, over and over again, settles our soul, points our gaze upward, and it's absolutely His will. The last thing God did was observe that there was morning and evening, and He called it a day. I'm pretty sure I've gone day after day after day and never even noted the sunrise or sunset or thought about the rhythm of the 24 hours and how God set that in motion. But I do know that people travel up to high mountains in the dark in Hawaii to watch the sunrise. Others plan romantic evenings on a rooftop with a dinner to see the sun set, breathtaking and peaceful. There's something to note about the rise and the fall of sunrise and sunset at his command. So as we start our journey on asking for and digesting daily bread, let's start by remembering these three things. The unknown is not scary, but rather a place where creation takes place. At the end of a day, there are good things to be noted, and His faithfulness is in the sky daily, every 24 hours, always and forever, until the end of time. What a great place to begin our daily bread this next season as the ground beneath us begins to thaw. New life emerges where there was nothing before because of winter's chill, but we're going to be enjoying hot daily bread.